my name is Maeve McLaughlin. I'm an IRC funded PhD candidate in the Department of Geography at Trinity College Dublin and this is why my research matters. On Tuesday 2nd of June, or Blackout Tuesday, the Show Must Be Paused initiative encouraged businesses to avoid releasing music, and social media users on Facebook and Instagram flooded the Blackout Tuesday hashtag with posts of single photos of black squares. Organisers stressed that this was not a 24-hour initiative, but an intentional disruption of the work week designed for people to take a beat and collectively reflect on actions to support the black community with long-term impact. The imagery and efficacy of Blackout Tuesday and debates surrounding this get to the heart of what my research is about and why it matters. Today, people pursuing change use and grapple with digital technologies and social media platforms that aren't designed for these purposes. And though we live our lives and seek to improve them in ways which are increasingly inextricable from digital tools, we're still thinking through what this means and what potentials and pitfalls digital technologies have for activism seeking change. My research considers how activists have used social media as part of contesting water and housing issues since the financial crisis in Ireland. While accounts of contemporary protest and social movements often note in passing that activists use social media, we lack richer understandings of what it means to do protest as both digital and material. But our lives are increasingly lived both materially and digitally. Activists have used social media to publicise, organise and mediate contention of water and housing issues since the crash. And I'm interested in these practices and how they impact the ways in which policy and social changes come about. For me, the pandemic has further highlighted the messiness of the boundaries and distinctions between digital and material protests because COVID-19 forces us to ask deep questions about what it means to be against something and how we can do that together, but apart, for now. To express their views in different ways other than coming to a public gathering. Um, we saw large crowds, obviously, on Saturday here in the city. Um, we, we do not want to see that again. We want to see people abiding by the public health order. Anti-racism protests and solidarity demonstrations are about feeling and being together in one place and time against racism and for positive change. The social media black squares and Twitter threads and Instagram statements and Facebook events are all digital attempts to capture this same feeling of being or of making it through together. But staying connected at the minute and more generally in the frenetic pace and slippery scales of contemporary society means agreeing to the terms, conditions and limitations that digital platforms operate by. My research matters because it acknowledges and tries to understand how we are tired of lots of things and aware that changing them usually requires us to act collectively, to stay connected on and offline and the promises and pitfalls which this entails. If we are to make it through together, then how we are together matters. Understanding the role of the digital within this, how it affects our being together and the contemporary societies which we shape matters. My research matters. <laughs>